Kids Church. Today is Pentecost. church in the music and that we get in prayer for after this virus that we can go back to church in your name amen hey kids how's it going yeah good glad to hear it you guys are doing well man it was a hot week this week wasn't it oh man so hot we had so many fans going inside started to cool off now but we had so many fans going inside that i swear it felt like a windstorm inside hey a windstorm that reminds me of something wind yeah but uh before we get to that where did we leave off last week huh jesus rose jesus ascended but the story doesn't end there oh right ascension sunday that's right that's where we left off that was pretty cool wasn't it so we'll pick that story up where we left off at the spring harvest for the Israelites. So all the disciples and followers had gathered together for that, and Jesus had told them to wait in Jerusalem for the special gift he was going to send to them. We find this story in Acts chapter two, and I'm gonna read that this morning from the Jesus Storybook Bible. God sends help, the story of Pentecost. Jesus' friends and helpers huddled together in a stuffy upstairs room. Even though it was sunny outside, the shutters were closed. The door was locked. Wait in Jerusalem, Jesus had told them. I'm going to send you a special present. God's power is going to come into you. God's Holy Spirit is coming. So here they were, waiting. Actually, mostly what they were doing was just being scared and hiding. You can't blame them. Their best friend had left, Jesus. The most important people and leaders were after them, and Jesus had given them a job they didn't know how to do. So as they waited, they were praying and remembering, remembering how from the beginning God had been working out his secret rescue plan. 
Suddenly, a strong wind filled the little room, whistling through the walls, rustling the straw on the floor, and there on everyone's heads, shining in the gloom, were flickering flames, fire that didn't burn or hurt. And something more, inside, in their hearts, they felt a strange heat, almost as if all the coldness and hardness was melting away, as if their broken hearts were mending, and God was giving them brand new hearts, hearts that could work properly. How it happened, they didn't know, but they knew God's power had struck their hearts ablaze, and Jesus himself was coming to live inside them. They had seen Jesus go away, but now he was closer than he had ever been, inside their hearts, and this time nothing could ever separate them. Jesus would always be there with them, loving them, whispering the promise that would get rid of the poison and the terrible lie and the sickness in their hearts. God's wonderful promise to them, You are my child, and I love you. Make your home in me as I make my home in you, Jesus had said. Could it be? Heaven was coming into their hearts. They threw open the shutters. Sunlight flooded their room as love had flooded their hearts. And the little room was filled with happy noises, dancing feet, singing and laughing. They unlocked the door and surged out into the streets as if they had never been afraid. Peter spoke in a loud voice so everyone could hear. Jesus died for you, he said, because he loves you. But God made him alive again. He has rescued you. People stopped and listened. The words sank deep into their hearts and worked like a medicine that makes you well, like the antidote to a deadly poison, like a kiss that wakes you from a deep sleep. Stop running away from God, Peter said. Run to him instead so he can love you and make you free. And Peter told them the wonderful story of God's love, God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. How Jesus had come, all that had happened. There were lots of people from faraway countries in Jerusalem. They couldn't speak the same language. But as they listened to Peter, everyone could understand what he was saying in their own languages. Many people believed and became Jesus' new friends and helpers. And wonderful news of Jesus spread, like sparks from a fire, to villages, towns, cities. Every day, more and more people believed. And so it was that the family of God's children, his special people, grew. Well, what did you guys think of the story? Pretty neat, eh? Well, a couple things we want to note about the story, and we're going to talk about a couple symbols that are associated with Pentecost, wind and fire. Why wind? Why is wind important? Think about it. You can't see the wind. It's invisible. You can't touch the wind. You can touch the air, but you can't hold it in your hand. You see the leaves moving? Yeah, you can see the results of wind. You can see what happens when the wind's blowing around. Well, the Holy Spirit is somewhat similar to wind. You can't see it with your eyes, but you can see the difference it makes when it moves in someone's life, when the Holy Spirit is working in their lives. It was just the same way with the disciples. Once the Holy Spirit came, there were some immediate changes that took place in their lives. All of a sudden, they were speaking, and everyone heard them in different languages. The Holy Spirit gives us gifts too. Isn't that exciting? It might not be speaking in different languages, but the Bible lifts off some gifts, such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are all gifts that come from the Spirit. And God uses them to work in our lives, and He uses the Holy Spirit to bring them out. So even if we can't see the Holy Spirit, we can't touch it, just like we can't really see the wind necessarily, but we can see what it does, we can see what the Holy Spirit does too. Now the second symbol I want to talk about is fire. The Bible has a lot to say about fire. In this case, the fire appeared in tongues of fire. Now, this isn't the fire on the disciples' tongues. We're not talking about the kind of fire on your tongue after eating spicy food. Whew. That's hot. These tongues of fire were like little flames that sat on the disciples to show that there was something special about them, that God was with them. Do you guys remember the story of Moses and the burning bush? That's the kind of fire that this reminds me of. God appeared to Moses through fire, but it didn't burn up the bush. So God sometimes appeared to his people as a fire in the Bible. And that's the same case in our story today as well. But in this case, the fire was spread out among the disciples. Just like how the Holy Spirit is not limited to one place, but it's spread out to all believers. So, 
what can we do to celebrate Pentecost? Well, you can start with a memory verse. And our memory verse this week comes from Acts chapter 2, verse 38, as Peter was addressing the crowd after the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And something else you could do? Just an idea we're throwing out there. You could have a Pentecost party. Why not? After all, Pentecost marks the birthday of the church. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear church. Happy birthday, dear church. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you thousand one? Are you thousand two? Are you thousand three? Are you thousand and four? Are you two thousand? Are you thousand one? Okay, blow them out. Yay! Okay, kids, that's it for me this week. Have a great Sunday. Have a great week. And remember, celebrate Pentecost. It's an exciting time for the church, the birthday of the church. Look forward to seeing some of your Pentecost parties, maybe. Have a good Sunday. There's a whole lot of change coming your way. Cause like it or not, nothing stays the same. So hold on tight and follow real close. God is good and he's in control. Clap your hands like this.